Well, hello. It's about that time. Time for an update! Uh, I know many of you were probably thinking, not many of you, no one really watches this show, that's okay. Wondering where my video was last week. I was offline last week for the most part. I was on a writing retreat and I went to my friend's house. Uh, and I just wrote for four hours a day. And that was a huge accomplishment because when I'm in here, I get so distracted. Oh, hey, I have to reorganize my sock drawer right now. Or I go to the fridge, you know, and I look at a magnet and I think, oh, what's this magnet? Budapest. When was my trip to Budapest? Anyway, as you can see, focus is a huge thing for when you're trying to do your own thing. Am I right? Well, the good news is, as I wrote 47 pages of the non-famous memoir with such titles as How to Break Up and That Time I Called My Kindergarten Teacher The B Word. The bitch word. I had to reflect on my life. My entire life is a story, which you can go places with that. You know, the good times, the bad times, and that's why I think it's so empowering to write your own story. Until you try and articulate your own wisdom that you have learned in your life, then you don't really even realize how much you've learned. I was sort of blowing my mind every day, just going, oh, I totally learned that. And I'm so excited about creating these questions and prompts for other people to write their own memoir around this things that unite us all as human beings. I'm trying a different format today. As you can see, it's a different angle, you know? And uh, it's more talk showy actually with this chair. It's like, oh, hey, Ben. Affleck. No, Ben's not here. What that really proved to me was the sprinting mentality of going away, disconnecting, and just focusing on one thing actually seems to work for me. I'm so excited after a year of kind of fumbling around with a process that that seems to really be really strong for me. Something magical happened last week. I asked a friend of mine if she knew any producers and she referred me to this man, Deegan. Are here? To, uh, here we are. Oh my goodness, this is great. We're here to record. Your voice sounds really good on that mic. I drove there and I recorded two songs. Nailed it! They're love songs, just in time for the February love time. February love time. That's why I'm wearing red. No, that's a coincidence. I go to the studio and my, I almost, I almost cried. You make me feel so safe. Because I finally feel like the missing piece has come into my life where I have a producer who creates the music, I have my voice, and then to have somebody who knows how to actually mix it all together is a craft in itself. And really what you need to do is just like anything, find the people who are best at every single part of the process. I feel like after a year, all of this other stuff is opened up in terms of actually being able to create music that hopefully sounds at a quality that you could hear on a Spotify or a SoundCloud. And just starting to explore my voice in that setting. You would know. My goal is essentially just keep putting this music out there. I keep meeting people that are really trying to survive in the music industry with no one paying for music. My goal is to try and help lift up everyone that's involved in the process. That's why I'm trying this new model of Patreon, which means these ongoing donations are essentially paying for these producers, paying for these people to create music. When you see them in their element and you see them do it and they're so good, it's the most inspiring thing ever. And you just think, I am so glad that you are doing this in your life. Ah, and then they open up to me and say, yeah, it's, it's very hard though. I'm trying to raise a child on my own. So I get so excited and passionate about that. I'm feeling, super inspired this week. <sighs> I've just been meditating every morning and I just imagine all these doors kind of lined up and there's doors for my family and everything opening for them and I just call in what it is that I am supposed to be doing on this earth with my music. All of a sudden the producer comes in. How I can empower other artists to spread music, to spread their word, to become the feelers of our society, to help us all express more, and really just start to create a fabric of artists and society together, um, moving and inspiring each other. Thank you so much for following along on this journey. I actually submitted a video to a contest with uh, Hook, Line, and Sinker, this original song I just created for the Tiny Desk contest for NPR. And that song was just launched yesterday on SoundCloud. And if you want all free downloads of all the songs forthcoming, sign up on Patreon and um, they come direct to your inbox. Blech.
and I hope that everybody just feels the love, not just this, this month, but every day is Valentine's Day. I love you. Thank you so much. And I love the times you make me feel so safe. Oh, you're all I've ever wanted. It makes me a little afraid. Okay, a lot of. Tell me you